Hey guys, this is Fox here, and we're actually doing a, something a little bit different today. Um, I'm going to be introducing the Oculus Touch. Now, um, there's two of them. They finally came out. Now, we've been waiting for forever, um, everybody that owns an Oculus, but it was well worth the wait. Um, these are the different controllers. Um, they're very amazingly designed. Um, uh, they're very sleek, they're very elegant. Um, and they easily fit into your hand. It's very comfortable. Um, hands, I should say. Uh, and they they are actually really, really simple. They have an X and Y button, uh, A and B on the other side. Um, they have a trigger button. They have a side button, side trigger, I, should, I guess I should say. Um, the joystick, uh, a menu button, and there is an extra button here where you just rest your thumb. And um, it's actually pr sensitive to that, so that's pretty awesome. Um, they're a lot different from the Vive controllers. Personally, I, I haven't played the Vive, so I don't know. But personally, in design, I really like these a lot better. Um, they're less bulky. They um, they take up a lot less space, and I don't know. I just like them better. They have a very um, like a Microsoft 360 feel to the controllers, like, and that's my favorite controller. The 360 and the One controllers are probably the best on the market um, but they are they feel very similar to them and uh, I love them so far but um, today we're going to be doing uh, a different thing we're not going to be playing any games um, at least for not this video but we're going to be doing a little something different this time um, we're going to be doing something called medium and it's a software program for sculpting 3D sculpting oh, my cat Okay, so here we go. Now, um, what you see is just a ball, a big sphere. Um, the lines outlining it is just like position and stuff like that. If any of you are um, knowledgeable about like any form of 3D modeling, um, you'll, you'll be very familiar with this kind of modeling. It's, it's like Mudbox, but on the Oculus. Um, and it's pretty damn cool. Okay, so the basics are this is your brush and this is your color picker. You can see the different colors that you can pick. Boop, blue, and this is your size. Oops. There we go. See? Hey. And this is just the coolest shit. This is just like Non-artists can even do this. Like, look how simple it is. Fucking amazing. I love it. Um, let's see. Then you can use this. This is your, like, the left hand is like a palette. And you can use the different, um, ooh, I'm so shaky. Um, the different things. There's swirl, flatten, cut, inflate, smooth, paint, clay, and smudge. And my favorite is is fucking swirl because look what it can do like blah. and that's just with the trigger button and you can move it man like I can't imagine I can't imagine make myth with a ro more robust version of this just oh, it'd be so cool Yeah, and um, you can you can hold it with both hands and make it bigger. Push it away. Make it huge. Rotate it however you want, or you can make it super tiny. Like twist it around in your hands. Make it however big you want, and then you could let's see. I can show you how to paint, which is pretty damn cool too. Let's see. I'll make it... There we go. And this is the spray. Um, similar to spray paint. Um, and you can do it for however far you want it back. Um, 
and you also have an opacity. Um, let's see. And uh, yeah, like, and if you don't like what it what it came out to be, like, say I'm like blah 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 blah, blah you can simply just on the left stick, you just fucking undo it. And it's that simple. Like, you didn't fuck it up permanently. You don't have to try and cover it up like with a physical medium or anything. Um, it's just like how crazy that is. It's so fucking cool. That's so just so cool. Um, and let's see what else. Um, and then there's layers, which you can make brand new ones and do... Eh. There we go, there's a second layer. So... Do clay... Whoops. I'm not entirely, I'm still fidgeting with it. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I still haven't figured out how quite to use the layers, but... But they're there, but they're fucking there, it's so fucking cool. And then, oh yeah, and then you could fucking adjust the lighting. Whoa. I changed the color of it. And look, dynamic fucking lighting and everything, like... You can change it, put it wherever you want. And, uh, let's see. Let's see. Rotate. And... <laughs> Man, look at this. Like, there's... You can you can set it to the sculpt. You can set a color to it. Wow, that's cool. So that menu... Oh, hello. That menu changes. That menu changes depending on what you are in. Now let's see. I want to try and do a brush. See what kind of the difference is. Let me try another color. Let's try green. Such green. And let's up the opacity. And see, like up here, you can't fucking color because it's not a spray. So you have to like get right on top of it. Oh shit. And it feels like you run out of paint if you don't replenish it. Wow, that's cool. We got solid piece. Let's There we go. Now let's see. Let's let's try. Oops, that color. Uh, I don't know. I'm just fucking around. Oops, too much. I need to adjust the opacity. Oh my god, this is just so fucking cool. You have no idea. I just. As an artist, this feels like. Like new tech. Like. Next generation level. Of shit. Like, this is. This is the future for fucking. 3D stuff. Even painting. Like, if they can. If they can map. Painting. And this kind of stuff to a tablet. And, like. Like, there is another program 
that uh, is called Quill, and it's supposedly like 2D painting and stuff like that. Um, but it's in a 3D space, so you're drawing with lines, essentially, but there's really no opacity. Um, you know, opacity. There really is no opacity changes. You can't, like with this, you can blend things in with going it over and over again with different colors or different um, saturations or, sh or shades and shit. Um, and that's really a shame because that's part of what painting actually is. So that is really just working with... Um, it's almost like working with vector, and I, I don't know, it wasn't very intuitive to me, but that's just me, I don't know, some people might really like it. There was some amazing fucking masterpieces that came out of it, let me tell you. Let's see. And this feels like you're really fucking spray painting and shit. Oh my god. Those look like paint strokes. That's cool. So it actually had the paintbrush actually has a texture. Wow. Alright, let's see. Go with the darker blue here. And you can like go into creases like that and fucking get in between them. It's so awesome. Like you have no idea, this just gave me like such a hard on for art. Just, oh my god, look at that. <laughs> look how cool that shit is. Look how cool! Oh my god. Uh, yeah, just... It, it just has so much... So much to it. Let me put some red in there. It's just, oh, I can't, I can't. There are just no words for how amazing and intuitive this feels. Like, I love sculpting in, in like an actual clay medium, but um, it hurts my hands. And sometimes like it, it's expensive to get a lot of things, especially if you want a large fucking piece. Um, and like, it just costs money for the tools. And it's, I mean, obviously it's cheaper than this, but I don't know. It's just something about this without having an, like a physical weight to it but like in visually it has it and you have this endless palette like this is an amazing palette like you cannot get that much paint in real life and I mean you'd have to mix it and shit it's just mm. I, I prefer digital personally but uh but wow this just completes me this completes me you don't know how much it does Let's see. Mm. 
about red. And look, like the colors just blend in beautifully. And you don't have to fucking work too hard to make them look just make them look awesome. Just oh my god. Um, if I go silent, it's because I'm just painting and I'm enjoying myself. I might just put some like non copyrighted fucking music up while I'm doing this. So, I mean, if you guys enjoyed watching this, let me know because I will definitely do more painting in the future, especially if people like it. I will record it. Like, I'll, I'll be doing it regardless, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll be recording this shit, so. I hope you guys enjoy it.
Well, there you go. It's a blob. That's cool looking. Bunch of colors, all the colors. Fucking, I don't know why, but I just look at how amazing that looks. Oh, I forgot a piece. Hold on. Boop. Here you go. Oh, another piece. Eh, eh. There we go. Yep, that's it. I think there's a cat next to me. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. But yeah. So, this is medium. Uh, you can do whatever the fuck you want in it. Sculpt and add layers, I'm sure. Hey, stop that. Whatever you're doing. Uh, so yeah, this is... This is medium. And, uh, it's pretty damn cool. And I turned around. Oh... I was almost off camera. But... <laughs> So that was medium. Um, I hope I hope you guys weren't too disappointed by the, the lack of game here. But uh, yeah, uh, it was. It's an amazing sculpting program. It's very intuitive. Um, I think it's honestly it's more intuitive than uh, fucking um, like Mudbox. Honestly, like it was. It felt more like Photoshop to me. Um, oh god, my my legs though they hurt. Um, yeah, they, it, it felt like, like a, like a hybrid between Photoshop and, and Mudbox. Like, Mudbox is kind of hard to operate if you don't know what you're doing in it. Um, um, they pretty much just took the sculpting about it and, and made it, like, in Photoshop. Like, that's what it feels like. And Photoshop's my bae. So, that's, that's... <laughs> That's medium. I hope you guys liked it. And um, go check out my other videos. I might be doing some more Oculus videos in the meantime. Um, uh, let's see. I put up a, a couple of like Stardew Valley and Don't Starve. Uh, and some layers of fear that I've done with Llama King. So yeah, be sure to check those out. And I'll definitely see you next time. Fox, out.